I'm going to play solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you are new to this game, this will give you a really great idea of what it's like to play. It's a lot like cards, so if you like card games, this is the game for you. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's play solitaire. All my tiles are out, and they're to the left of these tiers. I'm going to put the tiles up here so you can see. The dealer, also known as East, and player one, they get 14 tiles. Player two, three, four, East, South, West, they get 13. Okay, so everybody has their tiles. Four on the side, five in the middle, four on the side, six in the middle. That's just a quick way to count tiles. So let's see what we can do for the dealer. For this game of solitaire, I'm gonna say there's a two fawn minimum. If you wanna know about scoring, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist with a player reference. This is the player reference that I use for Hong Kong old style. There's all the scoring in the middle and you can download that so that you can follow along. So we are gonna look for two fawn and we're gonna say that it's the East round. We have flowers and one of them is ours, seat one. So we'll get replacements from the back of the wall. Dragons. Dragons are nice. Oh, pair of wins. I'm hoping we can try for a half flesh with all those. Let's see what we have the most of. You know what? We've got two pair here, threes and sixes. Maybe in the numbered tiles, we have a pair here too. We could maybe play either a half flush or we could go for all pung. All pung is three of a kind. So I would hold these sixes for as long as possible, but I think I would try for a half flush because it's a higher score. Either half flush or all pung. The problem with all pung is we only have three pair. If I had one more pair, I would go for all pung and mix the suits. But since we have five discards, I might sacrifice the six dots if I draw bands. So let's see what we can do for South. Woo, they have their own seat wind, South. So for this player, I would try for all chow. Right now they have no flowers. No flowers is actually a fawn. But that's a bit of a risky plan because if they draw a flower and it's not their seat, the seat two, they're gonna lose a, a point there. But they have a chow here, potential chow, and then here's two potential chows right here. Or actually there's a chow right there and then another potential chow. One, two, three, four. All we need is a pair. So this, this player's only two tiles away from being ready to win on an all chow hand. Chows, have very, very low value. So this would be a really low scoring hand. Let's see what we can do for West. Ooh, a Pung, three of a kind of a nine bam. That is pretty nice. I think I would try for all Pung or all honors, honors and terminals. There's ones and nines, one, nine, one, nine honors. Let's see what happens, but we need to leverage that Pung. Oh, four flower. Seat four, north. They got their own flower. So they have a fawn already. Oh, they got a dragon. So they have a red, white, green dragon, north and south. That's their seat win. Oh my goodness, they have a south, a pair of souths. That's pretty nice. 
Let's see if they have a major suit. They do. Dots. They have more dots than the other two suits. So I would try to get them to a half flush. Discard these off suit tiles. Okay, we're ready to play now. Everyone has their tiles, so we're going to discard for east. I'm going to start by discarding a one crack. And we're going to draw for south. Nobody can take that one crack. North. Okay, they can pung that. Let's see. We were going to do chows, though. Let's see. Let's, let's, um, that could be their pair, though. I think I'm going to get rid of the dots. Three dot. Let's see if we can get them to a half flush. Okay, here we go. We got to get two fawn. Four flower. That's not their flower, but it takes away the flower from that other player there. Oh, eight bam. Nice. Okay, let's get rid of the four dot. Eight crack. That's not good. Let's get rid of the seven crack. Drawing for east. Three flower. Three crack. We'll get rid of the two crack. And we can draw four south. Three crack. Oh, nice. Cracks, doesn't matter what number it is right now, just take them all. Five dot, discard. Let's draw for west. Five bam. So they're getting to a half flush there. Let's get rid of the eight dot. And draw for north. Now, north can chow. Let's chow for them, six, seven, eight. So we just chowed. Let's get rid of the eight crack. And we're gonna draw for east. Now, south, you'd think, well, why not chow it? You cannot chow from the player across from you. You can only chow from the player on your left. So they can't take that eight crack. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. One crack, discard. Drawing for south. Seven dot. Drawing for west. Oh, five bam. Wow, they're drawing well. We'll discard the nine dot. And now we can draw for north. Eight bam. Yeah, we want dots. Let's throw the eight bam. And we can draw for east. Green dragon, very nice. Throw the three crack. And we can draw for south. They have a one, two, and even a two, four, but they're across from the dealer east, so they can't take that. We're gonna draw. Five crack. Wow, we're gonna get them to a half flush, no problem. Six bam. And we can draw for west. Five crack. Okay, not good. Let's get rid of the one crack. There are already two out. Drawing for north, red dragon, nice, very nice. Let's get rid of the three bam. And we can draw for east. Now let's chow it. We could either chow or pung. We have a chow right there, and here's a potential chow. Let's go ahead and chow it. And then we can discard the seven dot. Seven dot, so we can draw for south, two dot. Drawing for west, one dot. Drawing for north, two dot. We want that, we need dots, and that's a good chow potential. We'll throw the four bam. Four bam, let's chow. And discard the six dot. Drawing for south, red dragon. We'll discard the seven bam. 
and we can draw for uh, west. Now, for west, we can chow that. Let's do. And then we can discard a two crack. Drawing for north, eight dot, that's a keeper. Let's get rid of some of these honor tiles now. We could maybe get rid of this north. A single north is not gonna help them. If we pair it up though, we could get score for that. If you pair up and pung a dragon, you can get score for that too. Either way, let's go ahead and discard the north. And we can draw for east, but south has a pair. Let's pung it. And then we can discard the eight bam. And they are cleared to a half flush. We're gonna draw four west. Four crack, that's not helpful. Six crack, they need, uh, cr they need bams. We're gonna draw for north. White dragon, oh man, that's nice. So, we can, they have a chow. Here's a potential pung, pung, pung. So that's one, two, three, four sets. All they need is a pair. Let's get rid of the green dragon. It's always good to plan your pair if you're left with having to get a pair to be a number tile, not an honor. Because a lot of times people collect honors. So we discarded a green dragon. We're gonna pung it for east. And east can now discard the six dot. They need to pung and pair, or pair here. I think we, we could get rid of this white dragon next. This hand is looking pretty expensive. Okay, so we're going to draw for south. Six bam, that's a discard. Okay, we're gonna draw for, mm, let's see, west, one dot. And we're gonna draw for north, five bam, discard. Five bam, pung, pung for west. Wait, I put that five bam in the wrong discard pile. There we go. Okay, so now we can get rid of the five crack. And draw for north. Oh, they got a west. We don't wanna wait on an honor towel though. We're gonna discard the west. West, pung, pung. Pung the west. And we'll discard the white dragon. Ready on a three bam, north is gonna pung the white dragon. and they are going to discard the eight dot. If they can get a chow in here, they'll be ready to win on a red dragon or a south. Let's draw for east, or yeah, east. Three crack, that's a discard. Nobody can take a three crack, so we are going to draw for south. Eight crack, oh, that's a good tile for them. Okay, now let's see what we can do here. We have potential pungs, and then, oh, there's a potential pung there too, right here. Let's get rid of this, uh, let's see, we have, we have a pung out already. Here's, there's one, two, three, four. All they need is a pair. We could chow here too. Let's get rid of the red dragon for south and we're gonna pung for north. and we'll discard the four dot, four dot.
Drawing for east. Four dot. Discard. Let's draw four south. Five crack. Oh, look at pairs. We're going to discard this three crack. And we'll draw four west. Three crack. Drawing for north. Six bam. Drawing for east. Four bam. Okay, so let's see what we have the most of out there. We have two three bams in chows. One four bam. Let's discard the three bam. Be more likely to draw or get a four so bam. So we're going to draw four south. Nine crack. Okay, let's see about chows in here. Here's seven, eight, nine. Here's a four, uh, five, five, six, seven. And then here's a five, six. Let's go ahead and get rid of the south. Oh, we could pung. It doesn't matter really because we still need a three dot to get ready. There are no three dots out. There's a two dot out. There's a one dot out. I think we should just stay put. Stay put. So south through a south. We're going to draw four west. Green dragon. The green dragons are out in a pung, so we can discard that and draw four north. White dragon. That's they're all. Oh, Kong. If you have a, an exposed pung and you draw the fourth tile, you just stack it. Stack it and get a replacement tile. They drew a nine bam, so let's discard that. We're going to pung it. And now we can discard the four crack. Four crack. East is, uh, has a four bam. North needs a three dot. Can't take a chow tile from the player on your, let's see, west through it. And this is south. So that four crack isn't going to help here. So we're going to draw four north. One bam. We're going to draw for east, two dot. If I had taken that south and discarded the one, we could have won on a two dot there. Okay, south, east, they got a pair. Okay, so let's see. We have pair, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, pair fives. So if we discard the six crack, they're, they're on a double weight, either five crack or east. So let's discard the six crack. And then we're going to draw four west two crack drawing for north eight bam drawing for east two dot oh drawing for south seven dot drawing for west eight crack drawing for north three dot mahjong okay they got a chow there's their pair. They got a flower, their own flower. Here's another chow. And they have two pungs. Well, they have a Kong, actually. Right here, they have four white dragons. Okay, look at that. So we have a half flush dots with honors. That's three fawn. They get a fawn for the dragon pungs, so that's four, five. Then they get a fawn for their flower. That's a six fawn hand. That is fantastic. Fantastic. This player was ready to win, ready to win. One away, two away, three away. They were in trouble. They were in defense, really. Look at all those single tiles. So that's how you play Mahjong. Let me know what you think about that game. I think that was fun and everybody was playing kind of an expensive hand. Probably should, should have thought about playing defense more. Oh well, play to win. But if you, if you discard the winning tile, it could be expensive. Think about that. 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an inside of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.